I used to think I had secret knowledge that nobody else had. I used to look down on those who just didn't get it. I used to get annoyed with anyone who had bad vibes because I was all love and light. I used to think my consciousness was expanding. I used to think I could reach enlightenment with the help of the universe. I used to think I could heal myself with the power of my mind. I used to think I could create my own reality and ignore God's perfect timing. I used to think I was a Pisces sun, Aquarius moon, and Leo rising. I used to think that I was a star seed and that I was special. I used to think that I had a spirit animal. I used to think that I could heal people with the power of Reiki energy. I used to rely on tarot cards and psychics for guidance. I used to think that angel numbers held answers. I used to think that emptying my mind with meditation was the only way that I could feel peace. I used to think that crystals, yoga, and magic mushrooms could heal me. I used to think that evil eye bracelets and burning sage would protect me. I used to think that there were many ways to get to heaven. And I used to think that Jesus was just an ascended master, which is a popular new age concept. And that's because I didn't actually know Jesus. I never took the time to know him or get to know him. I didn't pay him any mind. I was too focused on me. I was selfish, I was greedy, I was ungrateful and unwilling to even look at what he did for me and for all of us. And yet realizing that I am a sinner freed me. I didn't have to be perfect anymore because I was never supposed to be. And I realized that I can't do this life on my own anymore. It's too heavy for me to carry. And that I am a sinner in need of a savior. but that a broken crayon can still color. And the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. He saved me from myself. He delivered me from everything I was trying to heal with new age spirituality, which is anything but new. What I was searching for was actually him. He saw me seeking and one day he opened the door he removed the scales from my eyes, just like Saul who became Paul, and he showed me the truth. And then the truth set me free. The truth that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one gets to God the Father except through him. And he showed me who I was, that I was, in fact, a broken crayon. 
but he also showed me who I was to him, that I'm all his. I'm his daughter, his sheep, his little girl, and that you and I still have purpose and value no matter what we've done or what we've been through. So what do I know for sure? I know that the God of the Bible is a God of love and a God of mercy and a God of grace. He's the power behind every healing and every deliverance. And that we are to acknowledge the creator, not the creation. We are to worship our God with all our hearts and all our souls and all our strength. For if we are not worshiping him, we are worshiping the enemy because we cannot serve two masters. And only when we take refuge under his wings can we be certain that we are protected? Psalm ninety one, fourteen through sixteen. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So, I will not boast in anything. No gifts, no power, no wisdom but I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart, his wounds have paid my ransom. Listen <laughs> now.